Look at these snazzy chairs. No. Fancy. Like one of those weird TV shows where we're like being interviewed to adopt a child. <laughs> we're good family. We're good family. Our house is perfect. <laughs> Are you filming? Yes, because this is hilarious. <laughs> I have Tetralogy of Flow and Asplenia. So mine's pretty simple. It's just a heart murmur, which is just a small hole in my heart. And I have uh, Truncus Arteriosus. So uh, my pulmonary and aortic valves come together. So I have one kind of truncal valve. It's just one big valve as well as a pulmonary valve. I've had an ASD repair because I've had a hole in my heart. Whenever you come here for the weekend and you go home, What's the one piece that you take back with you? For me, it's my like restoration of faith towards humanity because I see all these kids and how like they love it and open up and just see pure joy the way like it should be. These kids, you know, even at the youngest ages have been through so much already, but they're absolutely making the most of their lives and they're just so thankful every single day to be alive that it makes me think about my own life and, you know, cherish it a little bit. The campers just get each other in a different way. Um, the conversations that they have amongst each other, maybe about the scars that they have, or about the challenges or memories that they have going through open heart surgery, um, seems to be pretty significant in the bonds that they create within each other. I think that they grow together as part of the community maybe faster than in other camps that I worked in, um, and are able to be more open and authentic, even if their heart condition never comes up. It's kind of like the glue that's holding them together that allows them to feel really open, really kind of immediately. Each year that I come, sometimes the kids talk about their heart condition and sometimes it never comes up. And when it does come up, they will have lots of friends who can say, oh yeah, I had that happen to me or that happened to me too. And we've heard a few times this weekend, they feel like this is a place where they can really be themselves and if they you know, have to stop and take a break, they don't feel guilty about asking the rest of their group to slow down for a moment. I found it really interesting that while this is a camp for children who have heart conditions, the heart condition doesn't make the camp. It's all about what these children can do and building their confidence and empowering them to be the strong young people that we know that they can be. I came here first when I was eight years old. I was excited to go to my first sleepaway camp. As soon as I got here, I had made friends. They had not even the same condition. They just had a heart condition. And it was so nice to know that there were people that knew somewhat of what I had to deal with and just relate to without any judgment. As I've been coming here since I was eight years old, I still have friends that come back to volunteer. And I have friends that I can contact all throughout the year. So if I have a cardiologist appointment coming up, maybe I'll reach out to one of my best friends that I grew up with. Having someone who also has cardiology appointments, that's a different type of friendship. I think meeting other people who have the same life experience, even if it's slightly different with their condition, is really powerful and allows them the opportunity to feel like they're not weird or odd or different, and I think everyone takes that away from here. So, from what I've seen in the past eight years at Meridian, just like the confidence that they seem to build just in the few days that they're here, um, I think that's that's pretty amazing. That's probably one of the, my favorite things of being here is just being a part of that and watching that, just watching them grow throughout the years. I've gotten a lot of inspiration and perspective out of camp. I think having an opportunity to work with the campers over the years, uh, I've learned a lot from people who are a lot younger than I am about the value of taking advantage of every moment. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a little choked up. <laughs> um, they told me how to be stronger how to be more resilient. Um, I feel like I learned how to be in the moment even more. Um, you know, the past has already happened, the future is yet here, but this moment that we have now is so special. If you can really live and stay in that moment, then you can find a smile. You can always find a smile. Always. This weekend, uh, 
clearly recharges me every year to, uh, to want to uh, continue to do what I do and to be as good at, at what I do as it can be. Um, and uh, automatically starts the clock to, re, to, to be looking forward to coming back here a year from now. But no matter what your heart looks like physically on the inside, no matter how big or small it is, um, it does not truly show the capacity for how much love it can actually hold and how much um, affection and wonder and amazingness is in a person. It's just, they, they taught me a lot. We are very humbled by the trials and tribulations of our life and most of us would love to talk about it. Uh, you see, our scars and everybody's like, oh, I don't know what happened. And ask us. We love to talk about it. We love to share. And if you have a scar too, share with us. We want to know. We want to meet more people that are like us because we are some special people. Yeah, yeah. With some special hearts. And I think that needs to be no, shared. What that needs to be shared. And there need to be, we need to build our community again. Yeah. Come find us because we love you already. Out of every weekend, I think that we do camp, this is my 16th year, um, I walk away feeling that the world is a better place. And no matter what we do as an experience, I'm going to get emotional, I apologize. <laughs> um, whatever we do for our adventure over the weekend, I love seeing the community of adult volunteers and Mara Vista staff and campers and parents who all feel welcome and accepted. They're all kind, they're all loving, and it reminds me of the world that I want to live in.